Hello. Hello. Right. Good news. Good things. Um, today is the 30th of November. Poignant date for me. Won't go into it. 2018. And Tuesday night, so today's Friday. Tuesday night. That's the 28th, right? Yeah, so it was the 27th. Going into the 28th because it had gone past midnight. I... <laughs> I got what I've been waiting for. And any people who are regularly listening to my stuff will know I've been waiting for four years to meet my, to be with my soulmate. And um yeah, she's here. <laughs> no, she's not <laughs> sorry. She's not here physically. But she is here. And uh, so, you know, it doesn't probably sound that good. And you're probably thinking, oh, you're just kidding yourself, mate. Well, of course, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, I'm very serious about my theories and beliefs. Even though sometimes they do change a bit. That's the way I learn, you know. And anyway, <clears throat> so, and it was quite weird that time I sat down to meditate and I had this sort of slight, you know, anticipation, sort of a feeling that, you know, something was going to happen. And I'm always a bit careful when I feel like that because that usually... Uh, spoils it if if I am expecting something because often when you feel a new feeling it's a completely new feeling so you could never have expected it and but anyway I had this slight inkling and because you know this is what was on my mind it was like you know must have been over four years ago now duh, duh, and there's there was a Facebook memory thing that came up and it went four years ago and it showed me the picture I posted which was um, a thing with the yin and yang and I was saying I'm yin and where's my yang and stuff like that. So I thought well yeah you know so that was f if I did that four years ago you know that it's definitely been over four years now so you know why hasn't why isn't she with me? Why aren't I with my soulmate? And yeah, I've kind of thought, yeah, but, you know, um, I kind of am, con you know, I've thought plenty of times when I've had a, made a connection, um, you know, that, well, I'm with my soulmate, aren't I, because I've made a connection, but they've, they've been fleeting connections, they ha I haven't felt like I could, it was something I could do, it was just something that happened for a bit, and then, you know, it wasn't something I could repeat myself. <coughs> Where am I? So I'm sitting there and it's sort of like I feel like God says, because I don't hear God's voice, it's not like an audible voice, but there was a an impression that came to me that said, the door is open, as if, you know, it's ready, I can go in now, it's up to me, I can go in if I want. And, you know, I had been struggling to meditate for a bit, you know, I'd been getting up too early, I was thinking, have I got a spirit with me? I had, a, I did have a glimpse in the mirror at some point before and I'd seen a little shadow around my eyes, I feel like, you know, there is... Because sometimes when I can't meditate, you know, it has been because there's a spirit with me. And sometimes actually to get rid of spirits, I go to a deep meditation, feeling the heart. And if they're, they often can't cope with that, that's often why I want to stop to meditate. Because it's a spirit that doesn't want to do that. They want to do something else, they want to roll another joint, you know, so I was getting like, 
because sometimes when I meditate, you know, I use cannabis, but so, and then, you know, within 20 minutes I'm wanting another one, you know, and that's going to muck up my meditation. So just recently I have been just having to conquer those dependencies on anything else that isn't God. Anyway, it's God set the doors open. And what came was a very familiar feeling. A feeling that I've been feeling, f noticing for ages. And I know I've been resisting it because then it changes and it's going into pain in my feet. And I can lift it so far and then it's like a, a, pain, a pressure pain in my back. And so I've, this is something, a feeling that I've been, it comes up now and then, you know, or quite often actually. And sometimes I sort of manage to feel a bit and, and then it occurred to me, that's not me. Or, it's not me. That's, <laughs> that's a thing something else, somebody else. It's my soulmate. My soulmate is in me. And I have kind of said this before and I've called it an analogy. But when I'm feeling my soul, my soulmate is in me. And there's an analogy you know, the earth, the solid part of it, the water and the land, is the female, and the atmosphere is the male. It's, that's an, an analogy of it. If you didn't have any atmosphere, you wouldn't have light in the same sense. If you're standing on a planet with no atmosphere, the sun could be in the sky, but the sky would all be black. Yeah, the ground would be lit up, but you wouldn't have that light. Anyway, yeah, light, which is, you know, part of the male, the male soul is that white light, that beam, that penetrating light, that searching light. And this is the point of this video. So, I was tempted to make a video beforehand, you know, and I thought it was just going to sound like I'm gloating. Uh, but so this is uh, the message to the men bit which I might put in the title it may be that if so if this is like true on the soul level and like I'm going out on a limb a bit a bit early on this perhaps <laughs> it might require the male part of the soul to be open up to God in order for the female part of the soul to feel God. That might be what is needed. So it's a bit new for me, like thinking like this, but it's sort of kind of making sense of things. Uh, you know, it's like the male role is like is to be the ones to go out there to find that truth and um, you know whereas women have more of the power they have the they they make things happen so you know we play our roles and so that puts a lot more onus on on uh, on us men to to give a shit instead of just sort of thinking oh we don't know and you know, leave it up to scientists and stuff like that. You know, it's sort of a double onus because wherever your soulmate is, whether you're with her or not, whether you know each other or not, whether you like each other or not, that is your soulmate and she needs you to point the way. She needs you to know for her to know. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm um you know I 
I'm saying how this feeling is familiar feeling. So when I've realised it was my soulmate, you know, then the feeling I've been able to feel the, the feeling what's going on much more easily. Uh, there was I did get into a point last night I think it was where you know I did end up resisting you know but I'd been sat for quite a long time so some still something you know I don't get but it's it made such a difference so I'm pretty sure pretty pretty damn sure um, but you know if I do change my mind I will make a video and say but I don't think I will, so, because I think it's truth. I believe it's truth. It's feeling like the truth. Okay, yep. That's it. Okay, ciao, bye.